sportsmanlike conduct. But she has had a taste of the sausage. Do you want some more sausage? Mmm. I want to say a massive thanks to John and Scott, who are our resident, is the word Michiganders? 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 Michiganders. Subscribers from Michigan. <laughs> that would be easier. In today's video, we are going to be cooking Michigan style coney dogs. Now, I know nothing about coney dogs. For your reference, think hot dog, mm -hmm. onions, yep. mustard, mm -hmm. chili. Make sure you stick around right to the end because we're going to be doing a Boston cooler, which isn't actually from Boston, it's from Michigan. So make sure you stick around for that. As always, let's get hungry. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, let's go. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige. You might be thinking, Mrs. H, why have you got two pans? Well, we're not going to be making one coney dog today. We are going to be making two because I hear there is a bit of rivalry of what is better in Michigan. Is it the Detroit style or is it the Flint style? The one thing I'm going to say is neither of these ingredients contain heart. Let us know in the comments down below if beef heart is a must in these recipes or whether we can get away without it. The recipes that I've consulted said we can get away with it. We are going to be making over in this pot the Flint style and in this pot the Detroit style. So I'll link the recipes down in the comments but I'm not going to shout out any of the ingredients in terms of measurements because I've changed the quantities of these ingredients just so that we could do both for a taste test. Pop in the ground beef, just add in some minced onion chilli. We've got the water, the mustard, the garlic and the tomato paste. In this one, I've got to add in my onions on medium heat. On the flint style, it tells us to grind up some hot dog sausages. Let us know in the comments below if you've had a coney dog before. Do you like them? Do you not like them? I want to say a massive thanks to John and Scott, who are our resident... Is the word Michiganders? 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 Michiganders. Subscribers from Michigan. <laughs> who helped out with today's recipes and told me that they were probably, aside from the heart, quite authentic. One key thing about this Detroit one is it says, do not drain. I know there was a bit of a few things about whether you should drain the oils off the meat, but this one specifically tells me not to. And now it's browned off. We're going to add in the spices, as you can see, in my fancy new pots. Do you like? Okay, the spices are going in. Salt and the sugar, adding in the mustard. And now Mr H, this is going to be one of the differences between the two. We've got the mustard in, so so far obviously we've got different spices. We haven't got any tomato puree in this one. Right. So a whole one of these, Detroit style, is a lot saucier. I've just turned the temperature down, just leaving it to simmer away. The Flint style one has thickened nicely, so it's now time to add these sausages into this mix. That's just needing to simmer along for another 15 minutes. One of the things that is true to a coney dog is that they are meant to be steamed. Like I saw, you can get these fancy little hot dog steamers, if that's what I'll call them. So I've made myself a makeshift steamer over here. Did you know Michigan is called the Wolverine State? I did not. I think there's probably going to be different opinions on why it's called the Wolverine State, but... It's not Wolverine from X-Men. I think it's probably called that before X-Men came yeah. out. If this is wrong and I'm making anybody offended, then I apologise. But I read today it came from the neighbouring state of Ohio. O-H-I-O. And they wanted to throw it as an insult to the people of Michigan and called them Wolverines. Really? Unsportsmanlike conduct. The sausages are ready. This is the Flint style, so as you can see, it's a bit drier. I'm going to load us both up a Flint style. We've got the Detroit style. This is reminding me a bit of the Sloppy Joes. See? Very sloppy. A lot of people said that these ingredients are best left to infuse overnight in the fridge and then use them the next day. Yeah. You can up and do them again. Okay, now for the onions. What do you reckon? Onion first or mustard first? I reckon onion, don't you? They look good. So Lana's already had her dinner, but she has had a taste of the sausage. Do you want some more sausage? Mmm. Mm. Which one's this? Flint style. Let's do it. How do you tackle like that? Or oh. like that? Or... I'm sure you'll figure it out. Mmm. I'm making a mess. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, that's good. 
No, it was really good. It works really well with the raw onion. Normally I'd add fried onion, but it works really, really well. The mustard's nice. The actual chilli itself is really tasty, isn't it? Mm. It's got that nice fire, which is one of the reasons I didn't want to give Alana any, just in case it was too spicy. I love the texture. More sausage? Mmm, that's good. I really like that. You're worried to get, mm. aren't you? Okay, mm. so this one's going to taste more tomato-based. What? Oh, yeah. Very tomato, isn't it? Has a kick. Mm. I kind of want to taste the rank flesh a little bit more, I whereas with this one, I could taste it. I think it's a bit overpowering, isn't it? Should we compare them? Have you got a favourite? I have. And I have. For me, I would say the Flint, 8 out of 10, and the Detroit, 7 out of 10. So yeah, I'd do the same, 8 and 7. Mm. They are really, really nice. I do like them, actually. I would have them again. I'd go out and buy those. Yeah, but I think what I would do, being me, I'd make my own version of a chilli to go on top that is probably yeah. more to my palate. Whilst we were chatting to John, who is one of our patrons and subscribers of the channel, he recommended we try our Boston Cooler, which is also something from Michigan. Now, we can't get Werner's ginger ale over here in the UK, so we have got just some ordinary ginger ale, but I think this is best with Werner's. Let us know down in the comments below if you've had Werner's before and what you think of it. I looked online and it said, for a Boston Cooler, start off with an inch of ginger ale. Two scoops of ice cream, please. Two scoops. We do need to invest one day in an ice cream scoop. I know they're not a lot of money. Right, two scoops. I don't think I've ever had ginger ale. You might need to do a lot like that because it might froth up. <laughs> exactly what happened with the root beer. You need a knife, don't we? To... Now it says to stir until smooth. Flakes are actually catching on over here, but I think that's fairly smooth. Do you want to go first? Yeah. Don't tell me if it's bad. I don't know what to make of that. Having never had ginger ale, I'm not quite sure what to compare it to. I can see how that's refreshing, and I like the vanilla ice cream. Mm. I think it needs more ice cream. As it stands for me, I'll probably give that a six out of 10. I prefer the root beer float. I think I'd just prefer a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> with ice cream. I don't think I want for floats with fizzy drinks. This is all right. I couldn't drink a lot of it. I'd probably say, oh, I want to say five out of ten just because I don't think I'd order it again, but it's not horrible. Why is this called a Boston cooler and not a Michigan cooler? If you like videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you all in the next video.